Okay, hello to everyone. Uh, it's great to be here today. Uh, thanks for attending. I'm Daniel, I'm the Open Source Office IT leader at Bank Colombia. Uh, and today I want to share my experience answering the question, uh, what is an open source office doing in a bank? But before I start talking about open source strategy, I want to share with you what is Bank Colombia. Bank Colombia is one of the largest banks in Colombia with more than 8 million users in the principal transaction lab, uh, with more than 3,000 software engineers, um, more than 8 million transactions, and uh, something like 883 office. Bank Colombia has presence in, in, in four countries. And today and this year we are uh, starting our office in the United States. Uh, I think that it's important that you know uh, a little bit about our technology journey. Uh, starting in 1996 uh, with our Colombian first uh, financial web, uh, service website. Um, next one in 2006 with the creation of the mobile application. Uh, of the principal mobile application of uh, banking transactions. Uh, next one, 2016, with our technology, uh, we have uh, all the technology teams working 100% in Agile, uh, we're using Scrum, Kanban, and things like that. Uh, in 2018, uh, we start our journey to the cloud. Uh, we start testing the ATM with robots. We uh, work or we are working with uh, DevOps in 100%. Uh, in 2020, uh, Bank Colombia was uh, selected as the best DevOps implementation for for database, and the most important milestone for this stock it's 2021 with the open source office creation uh, and with the start of our strategy that is called. 100% uh, cloud migration. Uh, Bank Colombia, it's a bank that is migrating all the operations to the cloud, and this is a year, a year uh, when the open source office creation makes sense. Um, and well, to be all in context, uh, let's talk about what an open source office is. An open source uh, program office main functions are to advance open source consumption, contribution, creation inside companies for a strategic advantage. That's it, the theoric uh, definition, but uh, the most important, the, it's essential that you understand that each company has different motivations for creating open source office. You can create an open source office for uh, economic efficiency, for uh, definition new architecture values for your new applications, for um, consume more open source, for contribute, for create community around the projects that you are releasing. Uh, but uh, what are the most important motivations of, for Bank Colombia with the open source office creation? Um, a bank, uh, Bank Colombia, that it's a company that traditionally uh, was interested in proprietary software. Um, I want to uh, talk a little bit more about that. Behind the idea of the creation of our open source office was the migration to open source technology uh, principally, because we want to uh, create operational efficiency. We want to have uh, cost reduction by using open source software, but uh, there are other topics that, are, that we want to work about open source environment. For example, contribution and strategy, open source compliance, and inner source. The first one that is migration to open source, uh, it's about efficiency. But for example, contribution and strategy has two ways in Bank Colombia. The first one, it's about contribute to external projects, external, external projects that we are using for our um, for our projects, uh, open source software. But the other way is uh, release software as open source. We have more than 10 projects that we are released as open source, and we are creating community around that. Uh, Bank Colombia wants to have technology influence on uh, open source projects. Uh, we want to enable and lead the contribution 
encourage and govern the creation of the open source projects. Uh, the third one topic, it's about open source compliance and government. Uh, we are working in risk reduction, traceability, government in the open source tools. And uh, this is important because migrate to open source technology needs uh, that you that that you are okay with the license management, for example. And the last one is inner source and open source culture. I think that one of the most important challenges that uh, we have uh, for using open source in a bank is open source culture. Uh, and inner source, uh, our digital channels have common needs and inner source is the uh, strategy that we are using for these, uh, for these common requirements. Uh, and we want to recruit and retain the best talent. Let's talk about uh, what is specific or which specific initiatives we have in the migration topic. One of the main reasons, as I say, is to reduce cost. A bank has a lot of proprietary software and uh, this proprietary software can be replaced by using open source project that in many cases evolve uh, at a better rate than several software projects, so several uh, proprietary software projects. Uh, for example, we are migrating um, the database from Oracle to PostgreSQL. Um, this migration is in the process to, um, to a journey to the cloud. We are migrating our apps from the on-premise to the cloud and then replacing or modernizing the apps with open source technologies, migrating the Oracle database to PostgreSQL, servers like IBM Westford migrated to OpenLiberty, Apache Tomcat. Uh, we are migrating capabilities of IBM uh, integration bus to uh, Camel. We are migrating capabilities of IBM MQ yeah, and, and we are using ActiveMQ, RabbitMQ. We are migrating Harvest as a tool for versioning big files and we are enabling uh, Git LFS. Another one is we are migrating uh, the Java Oracle JDK to OpenJDK. We are migrating capabilities of the urban code for our on-premise DevOps process and we are enabling Ansible. We are migrating a, a lot of uh, .NET traditional apps and we are refactoring for, uh, for uh, .NET Core, Linux environment, and we are uh, writing a lot of applications in Java. And many people may wonder about that. Uh, many people wonder about the support. Uh, Many people say, uh, and the support, does migration to open source uh, mean losing support? Um, this is one of the main cultural challenges that uh, we have at the bank, because many people think that migrate to open source technologies uh, mean losing support, and of course not. Um, if uh, Those are very frequent comments when starting an open source strategy in a bank, but um, the, the, the most important thing that the people need to know is that uh, open source technology uh, has uh, enterprise uh, open source support, enterprise support. Yeah. Um, another topic, it's about contribution and a strategy. Let's talk about contribution and a strategy. Uh, which initiatives we have in contribution and a strategy? Uh, for, for example, we um, first, uh, the, the first step for defining our contribution strategy was uh, identify uh, our maturity to define our plan. We are using this tool, the open source ladder, for identify which level we have. Uh, for example, a consumer only that only uh, is using open source, a participant, that is contributing to open source a, a little bit, uh, or a contributor that has a lot of open source contribution, releasing open source, or a leader that create communities, uh, lead the future of the open source projects. And, and, and the milestone of each phase is that consumption, 
uh, needs to evaluate using deploying uh, participation. Uh, it's about interaction with communities, minimal contributions. Um, the contribution level, it's about increased contribution, uh, major and scale contributions. And the leadership level is about open source organization, start new initiatives. But uh, we, uh, we want, we, we, we think that in Bank Colombia, we are in the participation level and we are, and we are starting uh, more uh, in detailing contributions. Yeah. Um, in Bank Colombia, we have an open source ecosystem. We have more than 10 projects that are released as open source. You can visit in this link, bankcolombia.github.io. Uh, you can see, you can uh, find useful tools for uh, different needs as a developer. Uh, for example, one of the projects that we have is the Scaffold Clean Architecture. The Scaffold Clean Architecture is a great old plugin to create Java applications based on clean architecture. Um, if you read the book uh, about clean architecture that uh, writes the Uncle Bob, uh, you can use this uh, plugin for create apps that use these uh, principles of you are interested in domain driving design, uh, you can use that for create uh, applications that apply these principles. Another project that we have is Secrets Manager. Uh, this is a library uh, will help you to, that will help you to decouple your application uh, of your secrets provider. You can use AWS Secrets Manager, you can use Kubernetes Secrets, you, you can use another providers with the same interf interface. Another project is the Distributed Performance Analyzer. It's a project for, um, for uh, do HTTP benchmarking. It's a benchmarking tool capable of, capable of generating significant load uh, for a single node or for a distributed cluster. Um, that's the tool that we use when we want to select the best tool for an app. If you can uh, identify when it's useful, um, use Node.js or Java, or something like that. Another project is Binstash. It's a library for caching data uh, in memory, making a single tire catch or using both as two tire uh, um, stage catch. Another project is Reactive Commons. It's one of the libraries that we have for create event driving architectures for accelerate the process for developers uh, communicates with, with uh, uh, different tools for uh, build event driving architectures. Another one is the performance benchmark stacks. It's a project that allow executing repeatable performance tests in different technical stacks. Um, uh, it's a tool for define different scenarios and you can do a repeatable performance test. Another one is the Serenity Parallel Execution Plugin. It's a Gradle plugin that um, enables parallel execution uh, of automated Serenity uh, tests. It requires a smaller configuration and accelerated process to run that in, in parallel. Async Data Flow Channel Sender, it's another project. Uh, this is a distributed Elixir, Elixir cluster for um, implement web sockets, for implement notification channels, for create end-to-end -end, um, asynchronous communication. Um, it's a project that, that accelerate that process. Another project, it's, uh, it's this one, uh, that it's a decoder, encoder of Elixir. And we have other projects that we are released as open source that have an initial community. Uh, in the open source office, we are um, creating the open source office central repository. This is a project that uh, contains guides, templates, best practice, checklists for use open source, for contribute to open source. But Columbia, it's a company that has more than 3,000 software engineers and this is a tool very useful for, um, for uh, 
help the people that wants to use or contribute to open source. Um, for example, contains uh, things like how to choose a good name in an open source project. This is a good tool the, where you can verify the name that you, that you are thinking and you want to uh, choose a good name for your open source project. Uh, another one is uh, the high, co high code quality. You can evaluate the code quality of the project that you want to use, the open source project that, that you want to integrate uh, to, your, uh, to your application. Um, one of the most important things that this repository uh, have is the, mm, the open source uh, maintainer expectations. Uh, release software as open source uh, requires or has um, a lot of responsibilities and we are uh, and, and we and we have uh, defined what are our maintainer expectations we have more than 12 open source uh, projects uh, and you can contribute on these tools in the github.com slash bank Colombia um, currently we are um, defining our open source ecosystem. We are in process to be part of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. We are uh, in progress to be part of the Linux Foundation to the group uh, that is we're in progress. Uh, another topic is open source compliance and government. Uh, open source compliance and, and government about risk reduction uh, and it's important to say that in an OSPO, automating your policies is essential and much more when you have a team of thousands of developers like Bank Colombia. One of the tools that we are using uh, is JFrog X-Ray License Management. Uh, it's a tool that provides, provides a comprehensive, comprehensive list of open source uh, license. You can create your own license and help a lot in the development cycle for choose the right license that the company wants to use. Uh, in government, it's important that you define good criteria for choosing open source software and support your team in making decisions um, about uh, choose license, the, the, the best license for, for a project, um, uh, the vulnerabilities, how to be driving the vulnerabilities in an open source project, how about the regular activity, books reported, uh, documentation, communication channels, uh, and high code quality. Uh, it's, uh, there are uh, many important things that you, want, that you need to know about um, support the people in, in make uh, good decision, decisions. And about inner source and open source culture, um, Bank Colombia is uh, a company that has different digital channels, but the different digital channels has um, common requirements. And the most um, maintainable way to work with different teams is use inner source practice in these projects. One thing that should be stressed is that an OSPO do more than just work with developers. And it's really important to know that because, uh, for example, inner source, that is the practice um, of adopting open source patterns internally um, within your organization, it's, um, it's more um, a government, uh, um, it's a tool for define workflows for work with people, not only uh, for think uh, as a developer. Uh, you need to know that it's different in inner source than open source. Inner source is the practice of adopting open source patterns, but an organization that practices inner source may or may not uh, also maintain open source software. In Colombia, we are interested in inner source and open source. Uh, we have shared requirements for the different digital channels and inner source is the most maintainable solution. Uh, in inner source, we are uh, working in four items, discoverable repositories, templates, files, measure success, and define the, the workflows for the, for the people. In discoverable repositories, 
uh, contributors should be able to self-discover internal projects that are um, of interest to, to, to them. Uh, exist different people working in different projects, but we want uh, that we want that um, people from different teams can work in the common uh, uh, repositories or in the common needs. About template files, uh, independent teams require standardized templates for issues, for pull requests, for features. It's a tool for uh, facilitate the communication between different teams. About measure success, you need to define in an uh, inner source strategy. Uh, what interest do you have with the strategy? Time to market, improve the teamwork. Um, uh, for you need to define uh, what is the most interesting interesting things for you. Uh, you need to define your workflows. Uh, for example, define the maintainer teams trained uh, people for do the job of, uh, of a maintainer team, uh, define the workflows for work in an inner source projects. Open first, not only open source, um, open, open it's a, I think that it's a, um, an important thing in the company about the culture. I think that um, open source can change um, many things in the company. For example, we are creating this block that it's called Bank Columbia Tech. Uh, we have more than 14 publications about how we are uh, using and uh, creating technology. Yeah, um, We have more than three posts per month um, and I think that it's a good tool for thinking in open. What about the OSPO team? The team of an OSPO is different in each company. Uh, it depends on what you have defined in your strategy. And our team, it's like that, it's like this. I have four people uh, that are working in database migration, uh, four people that is working in open architecture, that it's the uh, process of, um, as I say, we are migrating our uh, operations to cloud and then uh, there are, there are uh, many people that it's um, uh, that it's reviewing these applications for migrate to open source technologies, two people working in infrastructure on, on, on operations, and three people uh, working in open source contribution and compliance. We have a core team, but not a centralized strategy. It's essential. We we have. A lot of help of the cybersecurity team, risk management, uh, legal team, marketing team, and the corporate culture. Um, then uh, it, it's not a centralized strategy. Don't forget that uh, it's mainly uh, an open source program offices. It's mainly a cultural challenge. The open source in a bank is a cultural challenge. It defines the principles that will transform the culture of the organization throughout open first. And, and to finish, uh, here are some sentence, sentence that represents goals that we have in the OSPO team. Thinking, thinking about open, it's an act of revolution. There are more and more of us. The war is going in that direction and nothing is going to stop it. Open source is not just a trend, it's a competitive professional skill of the future. It's a way of thinking, it's an incredible way to solve challenge in a collaborative way. The future of humanity is being programmed in, programmed in open source. This can always adapt to the business and that means saving and agility. Let's talk about the feature, the way to the cloud, it's open, and that's it. Thank you very much. Do you have any question? I think is 
generally awesome. Are there people in your company that are pushing back, saying that you need to maintain some intellectual property so other competitors don't use the same thing you're using? For example, for, yeah, for, for the projects that we are releasing? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, the question is about the, the uh, competitive, about the projects that we are releasing. Yeah? Okay. Um, we are releasing open source projects, but the, the, most, common, uh, or the, the, the most common topic uh, of the projects is tools for do something, not about the business of, a, of the bank. Yeah? Then uh, if, uh, if another bank, if another uh, company wants to use the tools that we are releasing, it's perfect. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the idea behind, behind the, the projects that we are released. Um, for example, uh, for the architectures that, you, that we use in the, pro, in, the, in the projects and something like that. But uh, it's not a problem because the project uh, doesn't contain uh, business uh, things. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yes, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Another question? Okay. Um, when you talk about open source, could you be more specific on what are the other classes of open in addition to source? Okay. The question is about open first, not only open source. Yeah. Uh, I think that open first is the cultural challenge. Because uh, in a bank that usually preferred the privative uh, or the proprietary software needs a cultural challenge for think in open first. Yeah, when I say open first, it's about, for example, uh, share uh, the things that we are building, share the 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 way for um, define our architectures the. The way for um, uh, the way for, uh, for for example the um, um, the strategy for define any tool instead of another uh, when we use Node.js when we use Java which criteria we are using to define which tool it's more useful in in which uh, use case yeah. Um, what, uh, what about our journey to cloud? Uh, what, uh, what we learned in, the, in, in this process? I think the, that uh, these topics, it's about open, not only open source, yeah, because it's not code, but it's uh, shared experience, shared things that can be useful for another uh, companies or another developers. Yeah, thanks. Another question? Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for attending. Okay, thanks.